succeed. Oh well. You're doing great work. Is that clown dead? That would be sad. In space, we love clowns. Everything else about this movie is really scary because humans are so weird, but the clown is nice and comforting to see. Oh well. Hey, do me a favor and do... How's it going?
Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. oh my God. What, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me. Hey, come back. Uh, uh. Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine! Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're for combat, that's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch, they attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. Alright then, let's, let's keep moving. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit, I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's got to be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this... Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! All right, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second? Oh shit, that's a G Gatlian. A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha! So that's our murder weapon. Doctor Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets! Dr. 
your giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblet status report. No life cells detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello! If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Everyone called me crazy. But look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in me. That's right, Timothy. I know it was you. My own son killed me. For what? The inheritance? My land? Or just a plain old space Edison complex? No matter. Just as you had no qualms about killing your own father, I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn. Farewell, Timothy Giblets! to defeat some of them, but you will lose the war. Doug 
Let's let's do it over there. Ah, that's bad. Look at him just hanging there. I hate to say it, but he might be a goner. Let's take him to Gene and see if he can help. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Fuck you, you're just afraid because we keep killing off your goons. Bounty Hunter, I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. You monster! I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Fuck. Guess we've really awakened the beast now. I just wanted to say, you know, today really meant a lot to me. And, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Okay, I'm serious. Delete. Oh, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over. Let's bow wow. And we're going to hook you up with one of our brand new hyper bombs that you can... Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we all... Also found another Gatlian. Oh shit! That's great. I I I, I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's he's not really functional. I, I don't I don't I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn! Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. It would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes. I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But, you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Friendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friend alos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friend alos And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Twig. You gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Oh, come on. You shouldn't even get to decide. It's my house too, you know? Fuck all of you. Aw. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. 
Shut the hell up, Jean. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy, and it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Hell yeah, that's the right call. Tweeg's a creep. You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Tweeg, let's go to the park. To, <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Fetch a pail of water. Gary fell in love and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Dispatch 146. We have a 1052 double VOA call at the Dickinson Farm on the meeting dispatched 146. We have a double VOA 1052.